There's something magical about Saturday mornings, especially being a kid. I don't know what it is. You get up, eat your favorite bowl of cereal. For me, it was my favorite bowl of oatmeal. Watch your favorite cartoons. And I would wrap my Saturday mornings up by watching my favorite wrestling program. Couldn't wait, but sit on the, the floor with great anticipation, hugging my knees. It's my favorite wrestler would come out and would deliver these amazing elbow drops and leg drops and the crowd would cheer and I would cheer loud right along with them. But then I would see a woman wrestler come out and I would start my head around and I'd ask my grandparents, what's that? Who's that? Yeah, women wrestle? And they nod their head and say, yeah, they do. That was surprising because I wasn't the norm, but I enjoyed it and I was excited with something new and I loved cheering for the underdog. And at that time, I recognized that women in wrestling were the underdogs. And here we are, modern days. And I still think that women are being treated as the underdog. Do we need a women's revolution in today's wrestling scene? With impassioned calls from fans of wrestling events, both live and televised, advocating for both the women better. Are these missed opportunities by wrestling promotions to answer their call? Professional female wrestlers trace as far back as the mid-20th century. Women's wrestling pioneers like Mae Young, Yodrick Burke, and the fabulous Mula defied societal norms to enter a domain previously occupied only by their male counterparts. Most recently, We've seen women headline major wrestling events such as WrestleMania and other premium live events. But out of a two-hour program, only two slots dedicated to women? So what gets? Not enough interest in women's athletics? All the numbers suggest otherwise. The burgeoning appeal of women's sports transcends borders and disciplines, capturing a global audience. A remarkable 66% of individuals worldwide show interest in at least one women's sport with general sports enthusiasts demonstrating an elevated engagement of 84%. Need more proof? Sure. The FIFA 2023 Women's World Cup generated the most revenue in tournament history, raking in $570 million. So cheer loud for women. Celebrate them. Women wrestlers are indeed athletes. And remember, change is going to occur when we all work together. So let's make women wrestling matter. Until then, I'll see you all on the other side.